Hidden in the forests of Central America, a lost civilization is gradually being recovered. Over the last few years, many secrets have been revealed. But who built these magnificent temples? How did these intelligent people who could have predict eclipses rise and then swiftly fall? Do you think their history will be recovered by the outstanding hieroglyphs they left behind? How it started. As you may know, the Maya were around a long time ago and they settled in Mexico, but it was not always that way. Scientists believe that they were actually nodesmans who came from Russia. They also found out that they started around 2000 BC. We all know that the Egyptians made amazing pyramids, but what if I said the Maya built better ones? They rose as high as 20 story buildings. These amazing structures were homes for the dead. And they were also homes for the priests and kings. Have you heard that the Epic Maya had lots of awesome gods and also very scary ones? The Maya were also scared of their own death gods. One of the most amazing gods was the moon goddess, Kotaku. The great moon goddess was also goddess of the earth and mother of the gods. She was shown on a crescent moon, creating a right rabbit. There was also a cool god called Chap, who the Maya sacrificed hopeless children to. The crafty Maya had a totally different calendar to us. It either had 18, 19 or 20 months, which would be confusing to us, but not for the smart Maya. These mad people also had a religious calendar, which had 260 days. Five of these days were called the five unlucky days. The time on the calendar was generated by the sun. It was also circular. These days we have tallies, but have you ever thought of using those numbers? Well, the mayor did. They used dots and bars. If they needed help with calculations, then they could always use the cocoa bean to help them count. Main beauties. These all cross-eyed with beautiful. The ladies wore um, cotton skirts. They invented piercings. They wore big hairdress hairdressers for festivals. They thought the Quetzal bird was beautiful. Do you? This documentary is brought to you by Wilton.